All right, everybody, it's going to be a good one. Today, we're going to be replacing the motherboard on a GX270. As you can see here, it's pretty bad. We got some bad capacitors bulging and doesn't look good. This motherboard's got to go. Let's get started. So the GX270 uh, has two buttons on the top and bottom of the case. You kind of have to press the buttons in both at the same time to open the case. Once the case is open, we're going to start by removing this riser card. It just lifts straight out. And then we're going to pop out the RAM. Do that by pressing down on the levers on both sides of the RAM at the same time, which releases it. Then we're just going to proceed to unplug all of the cords um, that are plugged into the motherboard. All right, it has this little green tab here. Just lift up on that and then the entire assembly slides right out. It's pretty slick. Okay, there's those bad uh, capacitors that uh, it's hard to see, but it's the reason why we're changing out this motherboard here. There's just one screw holding the motherboard to the um, motherboard plate. And then the motherboard slides forward and lifts up. Got this new motherboard here. Looks to be in really good shape. There's four slots in it that match up with these uh, slots on the assembly plate. Just goes right on top of those until it sinks in and then you can slide it backwards to set it. All right, it's almost ready to go. The last thing we gotta do is swap the CPU and the CPU fan assembly. Let's see, it's held in here by these plastic pins, so just got to get those removed. All right, got one. Just got to get the other side. Once they're both out, you can use your thumb to kind of expand uh, the plastic here and the CPU heat sink and fan assembly lifts right out. Um, and there's our processor. It has some thermal grease on it that uh, we need to clean off. Once it's all cleaned, we'll be ready to swap these and put them in the new motherboard. Um, you gotta lift up this lever. These are made for zero insertion force. So it should come right out. Uh, just be very careful with the processor not to bend any of the pins um, while you're handling it. Um, and then lift up the lever on the new motherboard and then you have to make sure that the processor is lined up correctly. As you can see, it's not 100% square. There's one corner that has a couple pins missing. Um, and so you just need to make sure to get it in the right orientation. Uh, if you have it correctly, it should just drop right into place. Um, again, don't use any force because you'll end up bending the pins of your processor. And once it sets in, just put the lever down and then we gotta apply some thermal grease. Um, so we cleaned off the old thermal grease and now it's time to apply a fresh coating of thermal grease. And then... So the new motherboard uh, has some of the locking clips included with it. So we just got to remove those. And then again, um, it's easiest to put the fan assembly in um, at an angle, one side at a time. And then it just snaps right into place. We'll plug it in, and then we use the locking clips. Uh, we'll put those back in to lock it in place. All right, awesome, we got it. Now let's put it back into the computer case here. Get ready for reassembly. 
once again it's a nice uh, engineering here where it just kind of drops into place just gonna make sure the cords are out of the way and then once you set it down it just slides backwards and then locks in place Okay, time for reassembly. We're going to start with the RAM. The biggest thing is to make sure the slot on the RAM matches up with the slot on the motherboard. As you can see, uh, if you put it in the wrong orientation, the slots do not match up. So you got to be really careful that you flip it the right way. Once you have uh, the orientation correct, um, just get your levers pulled back and line it up and then firmly press down. And as you do that, the latches on both sides will automatically close, locking it in place. Then we'll proceed by plugging all of the cords and wires that we unplugged earlier back into their location. Let's speed this up. All right, that's it. Okay, last thing to go is this riser board. So it just kind of lines up uh, with both of the edges on these rails here. And then once it's lined up, just press straight down and it locks into place. That's it, we're ready to go. All right, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to check out my website. The link's in the description down below. We'll see you next time. Be safe.